Okay, greetings everyone, this is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Realpolitik, uh, Germany's Conservative Revolution. And I think I fixed the sound, let me know if it's improved, if I need to do more. I think I'm using XSplit audio recording right now, and I had the, uh, I guess the volume range was up too high, but for some reason, I don't remember changing it from since I was playing on Europa Universalis or Hearts of Iron last week, so I mean... I don't know why it all, just, all of a sudden changed like that. Maybe I cooked something by accident, I don't know. Uh, but I think I improved it, let me know if I need to do more. I reduced the uh, voice range, so I think that worked. Okay, so, uh, again, playing as Germany here, the goal is to create a political bloc with the Netherlands, Switzerland, and Austria, and I do have to change to an authoritarian government. Uh, and I have to do all that by 2035. Next elections are in 2121. And I don't know what that means. I have no idea how these elections work. Um, it looks like I'm in like a negative here for personal control. As well as election change. So, I don't know. I'm assuming maybe those projects can help in that area. Maybe I should put a project here for... Uh, but this says t control target is zero. And the current control is four. And the election change is negative two. So these numbers do not add up to me. I don't know what they mean exactly. It looks like I am doing well with intervention. And I wonder if it's the projects that I'm currently working on that are changing these things at all. I do not recall. I think these were just for really action points. We seem to have a good amount of money, but we have a large amount of debt. Oh, I wanted to go over the statistics uh, menu with you guys. So, uh, score is... Uh, this is your score ranking. Uh, score points compared with other nations. High positions provide time bonuses. I don't know if that was a break in a sentence there. <laughs> Looks like there was no, no period. Um, so my assumption here is if you have a high score, you're going to get some sort of bonus. And right now I have the highest score. So that's amazing. Uh, so that's pretty good. And we're gaining, it looks like, six a month. Three from the provinces, two from the stock exchange, one from population growth. Uh, I'm doing pretty good in that category. Money is a negative. Uh, this is how much debt we have. We're the third highest amount of debt. But I think I'm going to have enough money to pay off most of this debt. So I'm going to probably get that done pretty quickly after I form the political bloc. Provinces, it looks like uh, Russia is the biggest. United States second, China, we're eighth. GDP size, that's the US, China, Japan, we are fourth in GDP size, which is pretty good. And our GDP is growing. They don't have a GDP growth rating here. Army size, we are not as big in the army. India, for some reason, has the biggest army. I don't know where that came from. Um, but we are down to 13th with army size, so we might need to expand the army a little bit. Transports, the most anyone has is three, we have two. Population, that's going to be China and India. Germany population is 17th. Then it has your political systems there. Um, we are currently a democracy. Here are the provinces, all around the world it looks like, uh, so the wealthiest province, central China. Chinese seem to have the wealthiest, this is the United States, or Japan, okay, interesting. Population wise, again China, oh and Delhi. Uh, score wise, China. So I guess each province has a certain amount of score. Unhappiness. Okay, natural resources. Saudi Arabia, ooh, that's the oil there. And then the United States has some pretty good. Oslo, Germany is fourth. Or Oslo, Norway is fourth. Interesting. Mexico, a lot of resources. We have countries. Uh, player, this is for, these are my provinces, I guess. Okay, scores. Unhappiness, everyone seems to be happy, so I'm not worried. Natural resources. We could make more natural resources by building uh, some mines. I think I might end up doing that. Project maintenance. This this is what I was looking for last episode. Tells you how much the uh, each province or each project or policy 
uh, costs you in action points and in money. So if I want to adjust, so the action points, well, you know, yeah, I'm making 91 action points per month. That's pretty good. I feel like I picked a good country. Uh, so looking at these three allies again, I was going to try to get them into the stock exchange first, but I think it might be easier just to pull them in. I found out where the relations are. Relations are right down here under diplomacy, and uh, they have a 58 relation with us. If you click on them, wait a minute, that's not what I wanted. That's my problems. If you click on here and go to diplomacy, here is the option to bring them into the block, add them to the block. It looks like we need 65 relations to add them into the block. So to improve relations, I can either A, improve relations, I think that'll cost me action points, or I can give them money, I think, which I think I have more money. So I might start with that. Taking a look at Switzerland, they're leaning more towards authoritarian. They are still at 58. And Austria is at 58. Both at, I thought one of them was at 68 for some reason. Oh yeah, that Switzerland's at 68. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and offer Switzerland the block right away and see if that actually works. All right, so this will, uh, implementation costs will be 500, oh, okay. Action points will be 200, which we have, and then the maintenance is going to cost us six gold. Interesting. Units required, 20, 32 of 23. Relations required. I think we were going to make it here. Switch from joining the block of Germany. Very good. All right, so, um, that did cost us some money and action points, and now... Netherlands we still have money so I think I'm gonna try to help the country and see what that does uh, and it looks like I don't have enough gold to do that so I guess I need to wait till I get more gold all right so uh, we already have one of the countries in our block let's go ahead and play we're gonna need to gain some more wealth and gold here, new task. Going big. This task list we have here. Going big. Expand your block to have at least two members in it. Oh wow. And that's gonna be a big reward and a lot of action points. We're gonna get a lot of action points and a lot of money out of these two other ones. National defense national doctrine. Choose your destiny, either uh, activate... Oh, we're going to try to do a financial sector supremacy project. I think that's going to be our destiny we're looking for there. That one's going to take a while, but this one I think we're going to get a lot quicker. Uh, our country general improvement introduced health research program. Wait a minute. I think I already got the one I was looking for. So I need to introduce that health research program. But I might only be able to do two projects at a time. So, where would that be? Under internal politics, I think. Health Research Center. Health Research Program. That's the one I'm looking for. That'll give population growth. We'll get a big score bump with that Health Research Center, though. Okay. So, we gotta let some time close off here, I think. Keep going. April of 2020. We've already got one country in our block. We gotta get the other two, Austria and the Netherlands. Switzerland has joined the block of Germany. And I feel like our GDP is dipping here. That is a concern. And I'm gonna counteract that because that was starting to go down pretty quickly. And I think I need to probably lower taxes here. It is conservative, so why not lower taxes to 12? Hopefully that will increase uh, our GDP <laughs> into that uh, dive we were going into right there. We lost some money, but hopefully that thing stops the GDP from going down. Looks like it did. Okay, nice. Blockheads. Blockheads. 
Our block is going through a serious crisis. It seems our leaders just can't come to an agreement. Oh no. Relations in block will go down 12 in 200 days. Okay. Do I need to do something here? What's the relations at? 68. So that stinks. I need to get them into my uh, release provinces. I need to get them into my uh, stock exchange, I think. Terrorism exporter. Alright, there's going to be some events here that are going to screw us up. Uh, as long as foreign governments support terrorist groups, our people will not feel safe. They demand action against the threat, reverting their system to a democracy. Could prevent, could permanently fix the problem. Uh, participating countries as Iran. Unhappiness is went up to negative. I went up to nine. <clears throat> is that my unhappiness? Just went up to nine. War between Pakistan and India. So war between Pakistan and India has broken out. I wonder if we can go there and check out what's going on. The war, like you don't see much in a war. It's really like, a, like I said, it's like a card game basically. Like you play certain, I don't know if you want to call them cards or strategies, and then um, the other side does it as well. But there is no like actual. You don't see any actual fighting in this game. Whoa! Okay. Never mind. Apparently. Was that a nuclear bomb? What the heck was that? Malaysia has joined Indonesian bloc. Canada has joined bloc United States. Okay, these things are moving kind of quickly here. I think it might be time to... Uh try to gain these guys into our block. One thing I could do is uh, improve relations. Maybe this will... This does not cost as much. Okay, it costs a little bit of money and a little bit of uh, policy. So start a diplomatic mission to build cordial relations with the foreign country. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to do the same thing with Austria. This seems a lot cheaper than providing them financial aid. And maybe I should do it with Switzerland too, because we had some relations dip there. Make an investment. Ooh, that's another option I haven't seen. Help the country. Make an investment. Relations in Switzerland. That's cost a lot more. Doesn't seem to help the relations out too much. What about if I just improve relations? This is cheaper and it provides better relations. 400 days, as opposed to making the investment which is 600 days. So why the heck would I make an investment? All right, let's go ahead and improve relations there. All right, so we're improving relations with all three of those guys. And uh, that should help our situation, I think. There was a huge explosion, huge explosion in India. Lebanon has joined Egypt's block. All right. A lot of blocks are being developed here. We gotta grab these countries before they join someone else's block. Luxembourg has joined France's block. Okay, I'm getting nervous. Once these relations are improved, we should be able to grab Austria, Netherlands, and uh, finalize our block. Good. Oh. So, diplomatic failure. That failed. Success there. Alright, let's see if we can get uh, Switzerland to join our block now. Add to block relations. Not Switzerland, Netherlands. They're at 73. Okay, this will require implementation of 500. We have 500. Action points of 200. We have that. Uh. Oh, not available until uh, September uh, 2020. Wait a minute, it is September. September 27th, okay. Come on baby, get there, get there, get there.
block of Russia destroyed. There's some crazy st Netherlands refuses our block. Oh man, what is going on here? What happened? Wars? Global environment degrade degradation. Nuclear attack. So the effects unhappiness plus three, GDP growth negative ten, population negative point <clears throat> negative uh, point ten. Point one. Alright, this is a little more chaotic than I thought. It's <laughs> Netherlands is refusing to join our block. How do I uh, get around that? Influence political system. Gain a core. Spread descent. Hmm. Okay, a little more complicated than I thought it was going to be. It didn't seem like it was. Relations with Switzerland is looking great. 83. I wonder how high it can go. I'm assuming 100. Austria. The diplomatic mission failed. Relations are still at 58. And the Netherlands... Relations are at 73, but they refuse to join our block. So, let's give uh, Austria another diplomatic shot. Again, we're waiting for these missions to be completed, and that'll give us, they both give us more action points. Alright, so let's take a look at Netherlands, let's, or not Netherlands, Austria. And apparently I can't improve relations for another 79 days. Interesting. Help the country. That will cost us a lot of money. And relations go up by 10. Additional resources are negative. Money per month. I think we'll wait on that one. One thing I might want to do right now is pay down the debt. Oh, our debt is 26,000. This is insane. I don't even know if I want to bother with this debt. I'll just let that eventually pay itself off. Okay. Let's play this out. Alright, definitely much more difficult than I thought. Now, the other option is to include people in the stock exchange. Add someone will cost us a hundred. Let's see if I can't add the Netherlands. Invite. Netherlands refuse to join block. Invite Austria. And I'll invite Switzerland. Alright, hopefully that'll grow. Are they now in the, the market now? Looks like they're all in. <clears throat> so this is improving relations, or relations. Distance, not in block, same civilization. GDP. Yeah, our GDP I think is much higher. Greek debts, oh you jerks. Demand payment, which will give negative relations. Alright, Greek still owes us a lot of money from their 2010 crisis. However, it's been a very long time since we had last payment. Relations with Greek is 53. We demand the payment. I don't know if we actually get the money if we demand it. Or if we just forget about it and improve relations. I'd like to see if we actually get the money. 
And I wasn't looking to see if that went up or not. I guess I'll find that in the video. Nuclear management. So, at some point, Greek refuses. Oh. Unacceptable. This will improve our score. Oh boy, we we might end up at war with Greece. I want to say that. <laughs> I maintain a high score. Our score ranking has dropped to three. UN crisis going on here. UN sanctions. All right, hold on. I want to check this out here. Uh, reduce army limit of authoritarian systems by 20%. The effects will have 20% demilitarization. Costs. All right, required support, 55. Looks like there's a lot of different programs here in the uh, UN. Anti-war mongering. I guess these are different things I could... Oh, voting is on this, microloans. So these are the possible uh, propositions we could put out there, which gives us a new dynamic and makes it a little interesting. Against... Is that us? Do we have a seat? We have a seat on the uh, UN right now. We must be one of the rotating members. So, what is the impact of this? Uh, start global fundraiser for easily obtainable microloans to fight poverty. I don't have a problem with that. Proposers Japan. Russia's against it. China's against it. Brazil's against it. If I approve, then I think these countries might be more inclined to uh, side with me. And I think I need better relations with France, the United Kingdom, and Italy. Not as concerned with Russia because I got a little bit of a buffer between me and Russia. So let's go ahead and approve that. And uh, hopefully that will uh, warm these countries up to me. And maybe even I want to include France in my uh, stock exchange. I wonder if I can. That might really help us out. Invite France into the stock exchange. GDP is really much higher there. Alright, so I'm hoping that that little stock exchange I have there will help to grow the economy, which the GDP is dipping for sure. Uh, the other thing I might want to do is maybe invest in my regions. We can invest in mining infrastructure. Tourism infrastructure. A thousand. Province score will go up by three. Mining. Natural resources will go up by eight. Seven thousand. I don't have seven thousand. What's the tourism bonus looking like here? Ten thousand. Alright, we don't have either one of these. I think we're going to have to rely on our, uh, some of our projects and policies here to help boost our economy once these two get complete. And I've been going for over 20 minutes, so uh, thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did, and uh, feel free to comment. Let me know what you think about this series. It's a new series for me. Let me know if there's any other scenarios you want to see. I think I went over a bunch of scenarios, possible scenarios, in the uh, first video I did here. Uh, also, let me know how the sound is. If, I think it's, uh, hopefully it's gotten better. Um, and uh, thank you for watching I'll see you in the next episode